So Dion and Madeline, how are you guys? Hey, Brett. Great. How are you? Fantastic. Thank you. And I gather Orlando's great as well. You guys are in a new house. Yes. Enjoying it? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Fantastic. So I wanted, uh, you know, to have a chat to you today. It's been uh, five years, if you can believe it, since you did the very first code event in Orlando, right? Well, oh, sorry, in yeah. LA, you did the code in event. LA, yeah. Then we did another one, I think the year after in Orlando. Yes, yep. that's right. It seems, it's seems so, so short a period of time, right? Like it yeah, doesn't take five definitely... years. It definitely has yeah. flown by and um, yeah, we're, I mean, we're still, uh, you could say like learning and growing from the tools that we got from the original one, you know, like yeah. still implementing them and, and applying it. So what was it like before you did the code event and what's it been like now, you know, five years later? Uh, before the event, um, for myself, uh, I was very closed off. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't really know how to express how I was feeling. Um, I didn't feel heard at, mo at times as well. Like I didn't know if I was being understood or what I was saying. Mm -hmm. um, it was uh, very tough. I guess you could say like we had moments where we thought we were going to like break up. Yep. Um, and yeah, you want to add to that? Yeah. It's just, you know, the, the understanding like of the masculine and feminine dynamic, right? Like before not realizing we were like almost in opposite roles, right? Like, Madeline more masculine, me more feminine. And then mm -hmm. through through realizing it and realizing what that looks like and the communication styles from those different places yeah. are just like night and day. Yeah. yeah. Um, and now we get to hold each other accountable in our communication, in how we're showing up, uh, not from a place of judgment and projection on each other, but like lifting each other up, reminding each other, setting each other up for success, like inside yeah. of our relationship. I think as a man, right, it, it made it a lot easier for you to understand uh, what Madeline needed and to be able to provide that. And also, you know, for Madeline to be understand that uh, he needs to lead and needs to step up. And I know yeah. as, as a woman, you would have wanted him to, right? You would have been dropping little suggestions along the way. Yeah. 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 <laughs> on how to do that. But he wasn't getting the message. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. And back then, it was um, it was more of a struggle financially too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was tough. We yeah, had very tough moments. So what's changed yeah. there? Like, how has that changed? Do you think, given the change in communication, how, how has that affected it? So, so from like my point of view, as taking the lead, it's like. I never really knew what that looked like, right? Yeah. Like what taking the lead looked like, taking responsibility, being able to handle it all. It was so foreign. So then stepping into that and then starting to realize, oh, when I do this, when I take the lead and I'm certain about choices, well, then Madeline feels very safe, safe yeah. and secure, which then allows her to communicate with me in a much different way. Um, and I get excited now about leading uh yeah he's definitely more comfortable and confident yes uh, with his role you know and what he's become you know before the relationship warrior event yeah he's just become more um yeah like he's in tune now with what he needs to accomplish for his family for his family yeah. And how does that make you feel, Madeline, when you see him like that? Well, definitely very happy and safe. <laughs> um, it just makes things more cohesive between us. Um, yeah. Yeah. We're more open with each other. The communication is a lot better. 
we just don't have that stress of financial burden anymore, you know? Yeah. And did, did you feel before that you were carrying that? Even though he was out there trying, right? Right. Do you feel mm-hmm. like that burden was on you? Well, yeah, I just, I didn't have the, I didn't trust him. And so yeah. I always felt like I needed to do, have like a plan B just in case things, yes. fell apart, you know, yeah. so like I had to like be aware in case I had to pick up the pieces and like, you know, yeah, maybe have to get a job, uh, two jobs and, yes. you know. Yes. Yeah. And now that he's more into that um, place that he's in, and, you know, uh, obviously I've known you guys, as I said, five years, and, and Dion's very different now to the guy that I first met. Mm-hmm. Man, right? I agree, yeah. Yeah, and you've obviously changed as well, but, like, there's a, um, uh, a comfort that I can see, certainly with you, Madeline. You know, you seem mm-hmm. very, like, um, settled now, comfortable now more yeah. relaxed now yeah he's in that place mm-hmm. right and it's not mm-hmm. like he's he's um dominating you or telling you what to do he's just settled into that role of taking the responsibility would that be fair would that be a good way of expressing it yeah absolutely i i agree uh even yesterday uh you know there was something that was bothering me and mm-hmm. instead of holding it in and you know, being upset all day and just being moody. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I was like, you know, I'm feeling this type of way about this situation and I want yeah. to talk to you about it. Yeah. And I want to process how I'm feeling about this. Can you help me? And wow. so it took about wow. 30 to 45 minutes to, you know, address the topic. And then, you know, it was fine. Like we were good again. Like, yeah. We, Mm-hmm. And that's such a great example of what we're looking to help couples with to get to that point where yeah. uh, a woman can come to the guy and just go, okay, exactly as you just said it. Like I, mm-hmm. something's bothering me. I need to talk to you about it. And as I talk to you about it, I can process how I feel about it. Can right. you just be there and listen and be present? Don't tell me what to do, but just be there. And, you know, for Dion to be able to get to that place where he doesn't hear it as a criticism or that he's done something wrong or he's failing, Mm -hmm. that's that's pretty amazing, really. Yeah, it's like, I know I have my stories. And so sometimes you need another person's perspective and point of view to see what's going on in your head, you know, what's what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Because I think women need that, um, that talking. And as you mm-hmm. very aptly put it, in that talking, you process how you really feel. You find out how you feel about the situation. Yeah. Men don't need to do that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I'll We'd rather do the opposite, right? We'd rather just exactly. sit yeah. with it myself. Exactly. And what's amazing is when she's telling me what's going on and I'm listening for the emotion. Yes. And the feeling behind it and then speaking to that rather than like solving her problem, right? Yes. Like um then there's a relaxation that happens and she actually like realizes, oh, like she has more awareness about what's going on within herself as well, which is totally. Yeah, totally. It, it's it's like magic actually. <laughs> <laughs> it is compared to what it used to be like and is like oh, yeah. people it is like man right? transformation totally yeah 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 so guys look thanks so much for that i think that that really summarizes a lot of where people can end up after doing the code event and being dedicated to continue to look at themselves and do more work so thank you so much i really appreciate your time and as always love you guys and uh thanks love for being too. with me thank love you, you Brent. Appreciate it.